boys and girls, my name is Trish Olson and I'm the Education and Youth Programs Manager at Wings Financial Credit Union. Did you know that April is Financial Literacy Month? We are so excited to share with you that we are going to have fun activities and new books each week for you and your entire family. This week's story is called The Berenstain Bears Visit the Credit Union. This is one of my favorite books, friends, so I hope you enjoy our story time. Brother and Sister Bear knew something about money. For instance, they knew they liked it. That was because you could buy things with it. School supplies, clothes, toys, and yummy snacks. They sometimes earned a little money by doing chores for folks around the neighborhood. And Mama and Papa gave them an allowance each week. But they knew that it was not a good idea to spend all their money right away. It was better to share a part of it with others, spend it wisely and carefully, and save most of it. But where? One day, brother and sister got a chance to learn more about saving money and using it wisely. They were going on a trip from the Bear Country School to a credit union, a place where folks can safely save their money. Mama and Papa were coming as parent helpers along with their little sister, Honey. Mr. Brown, the manager of the Bear Country Credit Union has invited us to visit them, explained teacher Bob. What is a credit union? Brother asked the teachers. A credit union is a safe place to save your money like a bank, explained teacher Bob. But unlike a bank, a credit union belongs to all the folks who save their money there. Yes, added teacher Jane. Everyone who saves money at the credit union actually owns the credit union. So the credit union works just for them. The students climbed aboard the big yellow school bus for the trip to the credit union. On their way, they passed the Bear family's own treehouse home. Say, said Papa, looking it over, our front steps could use a new coat of paint. Don't worry, said Mama. We'll use some of the money we have saved at the credit union to buy new paint. Do we have money at the credit union? asked Brother. Yes, indeed, said Mama. That is where we always put our savings. They soon pulled up in front of the credit union, climbed down, lined up, and made their way inside. A tall, friendly bear greeted them. Hello, cubs, he said. Welcome to the Bear Country Credit Union. I'm Mr. Brown, the credit union manager. That means I'm the boss, he said with a smile. We're all very happy you're here. I'll be giving you a special tour. First, let's meet some of our tellers, like Ms. Bruin here. Tellers, said Sister Puzzled. What do they tell? I tell you how much money you have, laughed Ms. Bruin. Mr. Grizzly here is putting some money into the credit union. I can tell him how much he is putting in and how much he has already saved. Mr. Brown led them behind the teller's counters to a big window. This is our drive-up station, he explained. The teller here takes money from folks who drive up in their cars. Cars can also drive up to an ATM. That's a machine that automatically takes in and gives out money. That way, folks who are in a hurry can quickly put money into their savings or take it out. Next, Mr. Brown showed them many bears working in offices. This is where our credit union officers work, said Mr. Brown. They keep track of all the money that is saved here. Then Mr. Brown took them into a room with a big round metal door. It was like the door to a huge safe. Welcome to our vault, said Mr. Brown. We keep money here locked up in special safe drawers. We also have drawers called safe deposit boxes, which are used by our members who need a safe place to keep valuable things. We have our own family safe deposit box here, said Papa. I'll show you. Papa took out a key. Mr. Brown took out another key, and they put both keys in the locks of a safe deposit box and opened it. Inside were several jars of honey. This is my special golden honey, said Papa. It is the most valuable honey in all bear country. Papa and Mr. Brown locked the valuable honey up once again. Leaving the vault, Mr. Brown showed them an interesting machine. This is a coin counter, he explained. When folks have lots of coins to save, it can count them quickly and accurately. I have some change, said Teacher Bob. May we see how it works? 
Mr. Brown put the coins in the machine. There was a humming sound and a dial read $2.67. Neat, said sister. Nearby, there was a large display of money. It showed different coins and bills and how much they were worth. There were pennies, nickels, dimes, and a dollar bill. But there was also a $50 bill and even a $100 bill. Wow, said brother, that's a lot of money. You said it, said Papa. I hope all of you will come back to the credit union to open your own cub accounts, said Mr. Brown. You will get passbooks that show how much money you have saved. And when you save money at the credit union, your money grows. That's because the money earns interest. A little bit of money for each day your savings are here. The Bear family imagined what they might do with the money they saved. Mama wanted to be sure they had enough money to pay for things like painting the steps. Papa wanted to save up to buy some new tools for his woodworking business. Sister thought it would be nice to save money for the pet shelter to help kittens and puppies. Brother wanted to save money for his soccer team to get new equipment. To help you save up money to put in your cub accounts, Mr. Brown said, we will have some presents for you all. Mr. Brown and the tellers handed out wonderful little piggy banks to all the cubs. They couldn't wait to get them home and start saving their money to put into cub accounts at the credit union. Now our credit union tour is done, said Mr. Brown. Thank you for visiting us. I hope you enjoyed learning about how your money is kept safe and growing at the credit union. Yes, we did, said Teacher Bob, and we enjoyed meeting all the nice folks here who do such a good job of taking care of our money. Goodbye, called the cubs as they climbed back aboard the big yellow school bus. Their brand new piggy banks were empty now, but they would soon fill them up and head back to the credit union to open cub accounts where they could keep their savings safe and growing. And friends, that's the end of our book. I certainly hope that you enjoyed our story time and stay tuned for next week. Have a great day.